You know the old saying, tis better to give than to receive. Well, there's actually some truth to that. In other words, giving can be beneficial to your health. This morning, our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joins us to talk about the positive impact giving can have on your mental and physical health and why. I love this. Yes, science tells you that you should give. So why? What does it do for our physical health? Well, there's a lot of things it can do for our physical health. So it can lower our blood pressure, okay. which to me as a cardiologist is great. Yeah. It can improve <laughs> our self and sense of self-esteem, reduce our stress, make us feel happier, but there's actually also a study, Corey, that it's associated with living longer. Really? Yeah. So if you take adults over the age of 55 who are volunteering at at least two organizations and compare them to people who don't volunteer, you see that they live 44% less likely to die. And you might say, oh, well, it's because people who tend to volunteer are healthier or whatever, but this is controlling for all other risk factors, all behaviors, all health habits. I love that you brought up volunteering because most people think giving, especially this time of year, they think of money, presence, but it really can be of your time as well. In fact, giving of your time creates more connectedness than anything else. So there's a chemical in our brain called oxytocin, which is also released after women give birth when they're nursing, which helps with bondedness with other people. And when you volunteer your time, you actually stimulate release of that chemical that helps you connect to other people in a very real sense. I was just thinking, what was the switch? You know, like as a kid, all you want the presence but like truly now in my adult life I look forward to more giving than receiving you know especially when it comes to my kids and my community it's just it changes as you get older. It's so true. I have to say, though, that you have to have the right mindset when you're giving. So if giving is stressing you out, mm -hmm. that's not what you want, <laughs> yeah. right? Because, oh, you have to find that perfect gift, yeah. and oh, am I spending too much money? Because that triggers a different pathway in the brain. But it's called the helper's high or the giving high. Just like runners get a high, mm -hmm. you actually create pathways in your brain that activate dopamine, they activate serotonin, and they activate those chemicals called endorphins that make us feel so good. So giving to somebody is not just a psychological feel good it's actually a real physical chemical feel good so that whole feeling that you get in your chest when you get like the warm feelies when you give someone something that is actually something that's happening within your body. It is. They have looked at MRIs of people when they're giving something to somebody else and it activates a reward center in the brain. So it stimulates those pathways. And the nice thing about those pathways, the more that they fire together, they wire together. In other words, giving is addictive. Mm. So the more you give to somebody else, the more you're really cementing those pathways in your brain, making them easier to trigger, making you feel happier. And then it's addictive in the sense that people then want to pay it forward. Like you give and they get you get the warm fuzzy feeling and then they want to pass that feeling on to somebody else I exactly. love this that's yeah. what I got to give but I love that you brought up the stress part because yeah. It's usually the thought that, this says another saying, right? The thought that counts. Right. It doesn't have to be the perfect gift. It's really what went into it. It doesn't have to be. And this year, I'm so happy that we can get together, we can see each other, because again, that human to human connection is a big part of the giving and that, and that giver's glow that we talk about. Yeah. And you're leaving us for a couple of weeks, gonna enjoy some of your time away. I am, so I'm good. really looking forward to seeing my little niece and, and bringing her lots of gifts and yes. activating my yes, reward yes, centers. Exactly, yeah. and I'm sure that you found the perfect gift. You're very good at that. Well, Dr. Thank Coley, you. thank you so much. We're gonna miss you because you're usually on our show like a thousand times a week. So enjoy your time off and thank happy you. holidays. Happy holidays to you thank as you. well.